everybody. So this week we are going to talk about pre-harvest burn down. I know we love to talk about chemicals, but it's something that we want to make sure you guys are fully aware of um, and get a good understanding on it. But what all that entails is you go out and basically you like stage and look at your crop. Um, wheat, barley, small grains are primarily what you are doing right now. They're going out um, and checking the seed head and make sure it's filling, ripening, and then when you swath or you do your pre-harvest burn down, two main goals that you're trying to achieve with that is to kill any weeds that are left growing because green weeds, especially kochia, <laughs> are very, very hard on the combine and they sound really bad when they're going through the combine. But the combine is meant to run dry crops through it, not green wet crops. So depending on the type of combine you have, it's going to get tangled in the rotor, in the feeder house. Just as that's coming in, it's just making a big wad of green, wet biomass that you do not want running through there. The drier your crop, the better it's just going to feed right through and you're just going to be able to keep on going. So you're going to want to make sure that you're killing um, the weeds that are left growing in the field that you didn't get in any prior applications or were missed. The second reason then is crops come out of the ground at different rates. Corn is especially noticeable. You can tell by the ear height. You can tell by looking at the plants. Row crops are really easy to tell that. Where small grains not so much until they're developed. So all of them are going to come out of the ground at different reasons for moisture, seed depth, just you never know. So they're not going to come up and you don't have a crop that's exactly um, flat across the top, the same height, and all at the same maturity level. So when you are checking your crops and you want to make sure that most of them are ripe and full and so that's when you're going to spray. That's going to start to dry down that plant. It's going to stop filling that seed head. You want the dry matter to be able to run through the combine. So once you start drying down those crops, that whole field then is going to be dried down pretty much the same time. Where it, as if you wait to do it on its own because of the different stages that the wheat might be in it's not going to be uniform and it would never be perfect combining. So you want to spray that down. Um, it's called the pre-harvest burn down because you're pretty much killing the plants, killing the weeds, everything in that field. So you can go through and hopefully have a smooth harvest. We're going to start pre-harvest burn down probably a couple weeks or so. Um, there's a lot of guys that are further ahead of us. Again, it was a much later spring for us. And so all we have coming in uh, this year is barley. So all the guys that are have wheat are pretty much doing that right now and will hopefully get combining in about 10 days. That's, uh, that's the average number that they tend to go by. Uh, so harvest will be in full swing. It's already starting and um, look forward to having you in the combine with us.